Hey you all, it's Logan from Deuce. And I have an important message for you all that is a bit different than the message I thought I was gonna give you. You know, we're very excited about all the things that we've been creating and um, we're so ready to share them with you, but they've been on pause and they've been on pause for a great reason. It's been a time of quiet reflection and listening. And what we've done behind the scenes is we've tried to come up with the, the best way to participate in what is the most important thing right now, which is the social change that we are uh, observing around the world. It's been a long time coming and uh, we're here for it. And so I'd like to share with you what it is that we're gonna do about this and not just talk about or uh, post about. And, and what Deuce has the opportunity to do is take action. And that's what we're here to do. You can imagine, follow me on this thinking, you can imagine that this time is a tricky one, especially for a gym that's been closed, to just sort of pass the hat and create some sort of donation. Um, everyone is financially struggling at this time. Uh, but we need to be creative and find a way. Uh, the other dynamic that's showing up here is we need to take action now and this isn't going to be over now or soon. And so there's a, a longevity piece to this. And so if we prioritize impact first and foremost with our actions here, uh, we have to consider these dynamics. And so here's what we've uh, come up with. You can expect from Deuce in June, the near term. 10% of all retail sales will be donated directly to the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund. That is something that you can participate in. You can kind of like vote and, and, and feel like you're helping inside of this community. However, that feels to us like a flash in the pan, short-lived thing. And to be honest, if we left it that, we would know full well that we weren't providing the most impact, especially financially possible. And so what we're committing to is this two-pronged approach. The second prong being that 2% of all membership dues will accumulate from now until the end of the year to make a second, much more substantial donation, make a real impact on that side. And so we want to satisfy longevity, impact, and your ability to participate all kind of in one uh, effort. And it is important that we start this conversation here. Second part of the conversation, there will be three. Second part of the conversation, a little bit of backstory if you are not hyper plugged into this community. Deuce Gym, whether you realize it or not, is a CrossFit affiliate. It's been a CrossFit affiliate since the day we uh, began. Um, I personally started CrossFit in 2006. It's meant a lot to me for a, a long time. I've traveled to nine countries coaching movement uh, as a CrossFit coach of the Strongman Seminar. And uh, it, it came to our attention on the 21st of the last, uh, last month that our, our affiliate dues were, were due. They, they happen every single year. And since then, the email has gone unrespond. I haven't responded to it. Because what we're trying to do is figure out as a company where we go uh, from here. And today uh, and yesterday, the founder of CrossFit, Greg Glassman, has uh, made some ridiculously inappropriate, insensitive, uh, unacceptable, embarrassing comments. And again, CrossFit is trending worldwide for all the wrong reasons. And so uh, it's really the easiest decision in the world to uh, discontinue our relationship with CrossFit, something that maybe already happened, or maybe was, uh, I should say, inevitable to happen. And uh, it's important to be clear about where it is that we stand uh, when it comes to uh, basic human rights and, and what it is that we're trying to do here, which is uh, 
change the world with movement. And um, I believe that I can say that and honor the great gifts that literally we are all benefiting from uh, in this movement of CrossFit. Uh, unfortunately, in a lot of ways that ends today. And uh, that's important for me to share with you whether or not um, that word CrossFit means something to you. Um, the third thing is the other obvious big uh, topic right now, which is the COVID-19 crisis. We are very close to being able to open in a modified fashion. And I promise you that you will see another effort unknown to mankind in creating a remarkable, safe, thoughtful training experience when and if that is appropriate. And we are so excited to roll that out uh, with you. Um, after this email, several days from now when it's more appropriate, I will share with you all of the wonderful things that are headed our way. One final comment about coming back to the brick and mortar gym. It is very clear, it should be obvious that Deuce is a collection of diverse people. We are proud about that. The leadership at Deuce is a collection of diverse people as well. People I'm very proud to work with. And inside of that, that, that crowd of leaders are folks that have all different kinds of beliefs and feelings. And I will say this, the only thing worse than being a part of a group of, uh, that involves people that disagree with you, in my opinion, is being a part of a group where no one is allowed to disagree with you. And I say that in a very direct, compassionate way to you all who are listening. I give you my word that Deuce and the reopening of Deuce will be done in a thoughtful manner, in a way that is uh, having the safety and the health of those involved in mind, and we are gonna do our best to create something that you all will be proud of. And I like it this way. I like it that we can all come together with different perspectives and somehow arrive at a beautiful place that we call Deuce and exchange together. And I hope that this time can be a call to action for us all to communicate with each other um, more than ever because COVID-19 is either going to be the thing that fractures us into judgment and shame and uh, negativity or it could be the greatest opportunity in the history of my lifetime uh, for an entire globe to come together over unique uh, one unique experience and so um, you have my word that we will be thoughtful about this. I appreciate you taking eight minutes and 15 seconds out of your time to listen to all this. I hope you took notes. There's a lot of changes in the air, but one thing is sure, we are so ready and primed to take the world by storm and, and be of service to you all. So that's all I have to share with you. Uh, we have our, our priorities uh, in a row, I think, and that's why you heard them in the order that you heard them in. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments or thoughts, please, I'm an open book, uh, an open book. We are an open book. Please reach out. Thank you.